Hello and welcome to this edition of Back in History. In Back in History, we take you back in time to the events that occurred in the historical past. In this edition, we bring to you the story of the youngest person ever in the history of Nigeria to be made a king and given the key and authority to ascend the throne of his ancestors in Agbo in present-day Delta State of Nigeria. Agbo is an ancient city in Delta State. Its traditional history dates back to the time of their great-great-grandfathers, down to their great-grandfathers, down to their grandfathers, down to their fathers, and down to the present-day Nigeria. It is a city with rich cultural heritage, which also dates back several years. It is credited as being the most popular city among the Ika people. It is located in Ika South local government area of Delta State. The Alaja Itakwe Ajayokuta railway line crosses through the city of Agbo to the terminal at Owa, owned by the Nigerian Railway Corporation. Now, this is the city where Jimovia, the founder of Zenith Bank of Nigeria PLC, is from. Sondo Ulisse, the popular Nigerian footballer and coach, is also from here. Ifanyi Okoa, the governor of Delta State, is also from here. Hank Anuku of Nollywood is also from here. Sam Obi, former acting governor of Delta State, is also from here. Godwin Emefiele, the longest serving governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, is also from here. There are many other very important persons from this ancient city of Agbo. In this kingdom, there is a traditional stool whose history is traceable to the very foundation of the city. Several persons have occupied this stool as king from one generation to the other. But historically, the stool has always been occupied by adult men who sit on the stool till death, and when they die, they are usually succeeded by their sons or other members of the royal blood. No child had ever ascended the throne for hundreds of years. There was always an adult male to succeed the demised king. But in 1979, history was made. A 28-month-old child was crowned as king of Agbo. His name, Benjamin Ikenchuku Kaibe Rekuzi. His father was Obi Ikenchuku I. Obi was the occupant of the throne at the time of the birth of Benjamin, but he died barely 28 months after the birth of Benjamin, and by tradition, Benjamin, as his heir apparent, was the traditional successor to the throne. The young Benjamin was coronated by the kingmakers in 1979, soon after his father's demise, thus making him the youngest ever to be made a king in Agbo Kingdom. By his coronation, he became the 18th king of Agbo Kingdom. In the 1980 edition of the Guinness Book of World Record, Benjamin was published as the youngest person ever to be crowned a monarch in the entire universe. Even in the British monarchy, no one has ever been crowned so early to ascend the royal throne. Benjamin, in Agbo, was thus a history maker. Benjamin's ascension to the throne, as noted earlier, was itself a child of circumstance. Had his father been alive, Benjamin would not have ascended the throne at such tender age. It goes without saying that a child of 28 months knew nothing about the traditional ceremonies that were performed by the kingmakers to make him the king of his people. He may not have even started elementary school at the time. He was naive and knew absolutely nothing at the time. But a lot fell on him to ascend the ancient throne at that age 
and by tradition he was under an obligation to present himself for the coronation. In an interview which he granted to Matthew Ochei, published in the Punch newspaper of 7th December 2019, Oba Benjamin described how he felt at the time of his coronation. Quote, I am happy I cannot recall, because in some of the pictures I saw, I did not look too happy. So, only God knows what was going through my mind at the time. Like, what are these people doing? What are you putting on my head? It must have been an interesting period. It was God's decision and we followed it. End of quote. Not long after his coronation, precisely in 1981, the young Benjamin was sent to the United Kingdom where he lived and grew up attending schools. It is reported that sending him to the United Kingdom was an action taken to protect the young king from harm and for the sustainability of the royal stool. While abroad, he attended several institutions including the Catholic School of Kent, the College of Baywood in Surrey, College of St. Benedict, Erling, and Birkbeck College in London. From these schools, he obtained various degrees and certifications before returning to Nigeria in 2001 to fully occupy the throne. During the period of his absence, the throne was occupied for him by regents. His Royal Majesty Benjamin Iken Chukukai Berikuzi I is one of the most exposed monarchs in Nigeria today. Having interacted extensively with his people, people from other parts of Nigeria and Africa, and having lived and interacted extensively with the outside world. His Royal Majesty was appointed by President Olusha Gunobas and as the Chancellor of the University of Ilori in Nkwara State of Nigeria at the age of 29, making him the youngest person to be appointed as Chancellor of any public or private university in Africa. Benjamin, in the course of his reign, has played host to several VIPs and has also paid visits to them. Such VIPs include President Alusha Gunobasanjo, President Muhammad Buhari, Governor Ifani Okowa, and many others. With age still on his side, His Royal Majesty Dane Benjamin Ikenchuku Kaikwerukuzi No. 1 is certain to occupy the throne for many years with life and God's grace around him. Thanks for watching this edition of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notifications on every new video.